to live on Max Television today. It's Saturday. We just have about two more fights to go. If you just join us, we're coming your way live from the Book on Boxing Arena right here in Accra, Ghana. Today is like a knockout night. All the bout that we have ended prematurely. We have two more to go. And this is the penultimate bout of the evening. And this is a welterweight contest over six rounds between George Fowl Mensah. He's coming from the Panix Boxing Gymnasium. He's going to fight from the red corner. And from the gym boxing gymnasium, the boxer is Robert Addo. So Robert Addo has just uh, jumped into the ring. Now, shall we please welcome the boxer from the Panix Boxing Gym, George Fowl Mensah. Well, we are ready for the penultimate bout of the evening. And this is a waterweight contest of our six rounds. Officials for this bout, we have the three judges at the ring side, Shadrach Akwe, Ishmael Williams, and Clement Sean. Now, introducing the boxer who is making his debut tonight as a professional boxer from the gym boxing gymnasium here in Accra, fighting out from the blue corner. And this evening, spotted in the red and yellow trunks, red gloves, and black shoes to match. The man came to the ring with a weight of 163.3 pounds from the gym boxing gymnasium. Presenting to you, the boxer, Robert Ado. Now, crossing over to the red corner, he's looking very, very gorgeous tonight in blue and white trunks. Blue gloves and blue shoe to match from the Panix Boxing Gymnasium under the tutelage of one of the finest boxing trainers Ghana has ever produced, Coach Yi. He came on with the weight of 141 pounds. This is the man who made his debut this year, 2022. He had only one fight and he won that fight by a technical knockout. Today is making his second appearance on the professional boxing league platform presenting to you the boxer george Fowl Manson. and the man in charge of this fight is david mills gentlemen i expect a good and clean fight obey my instructions protect Two yourself at all times set to entertain us here in this uh penultimate fight of the uh, evening it's a welterweight contest scheduled for six rounds. Once again, the man in charge, no. David Mills. What? Here we go. Faho Mensa, very interesting boxer. He's the chap in the uh, blue and white. Quick exchange there. And uh, not too sure whether Robert Addo's movement in the ring would help him that much. But yes, an opportunity for Faho Mensah to work on the head and the body as well.
Wild Miss Bayado. Ado obviously with the uh, longer reach and a lot of uh, the attack is coming from uh, Faho Mensa. He's the gentleman with the uh, the hair dyed and he's trying to uh, open up, went into the first exchange and then another opportunity to have a go at his opponent. Prince Faho Mensa seems to be so scared, so terrified of, uh, 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 sorry, Ado seems to be so terrified of Faho Mensa's power. I wonder whether this fight is going to last. Very frightened look on his face. Very timid. Looks like someone who doesn't really want to be in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, he has to. <laughs> But Fahou I like his stance, that southpaw stance with hefty punches, a very good jab, a ramrod type of jab, very calculated, up there with the basics. Yeah, and I think I agree with uh, your earlier assertion <laughs> that Ado looks quite uh, timid. And Faho would want to take that opportunity and advantage. And I don't, I don't, I don't know whether it's a mark of um, the boxers from the Panix uh, Boxing Gymnasium, coached by Coach Yi. They, they, they are marked by this uh, ferocity, sheer ruthless aggression. Look at the likes of uh, Charles Yautete. Here we go, second round of a bout that is scheduled for six. It's a welterweight contest, which is seeing George Faho Menta of the Panics Boxing Gym in the uh, white and blue, taking on Robert Addo of the gym. Addo tries to fight back. Faho tries to go into a big launch again with that right hook of his, failing to land on the target. Prince, it seems, it seems, it seems to me from a commentary position that um, Ado is uh, trying to uh, trying to make a kind of a, an agreement with a. a, a, a a pact with Fao Mensa to take it easy on, on, um, on him. <laughs> but Prince, uh, um, history. But Fao has, has it. been very aggressive. Yeah, history has it in the annals of. One there, Fao. Fao now works on the body. He has a go at Robert Addo. Addo walked out of the last uh, throw there and then goes in for the clinch. Prince, in the annals of Ghana boxing is history. It has happened before that one of Emmanuel Game Boy Tego's opponents in the middle of a fight began to plead with him to take it easy on him because the punishment was just too much to bear. Mm. Emmanuel Game Boy Tego, the very day I meet him, I would make him disclose the identity of that very boxer. Although I'm fully aware, I would like that to come out from the horse's own mouth. Indeed, and Robert Addo goes down. When what a tumble. Addo went down like a log. Yeah. What power. What accuracy. It, nah, he can't and make it. It is all over. Yeah. It is all over. George that was Fahomenza. a ferocious punch. Goodness aggression. And he will give us some dancing skills, some dance moves from George Fahomensa. Would you begrudge him? The man has just, he has just won by a massive KO victory. Yeah. Max, on Max TV.
Today is Saturday. We are just winding up with week 18 of the Deluxe Professional Boxing League. This was the penultimate bout. Walter with Contis over six rounds. We now have the verdict. Shall we put your hands together for the two boxes? Now we have the verdict in round number two. Two minutes, nine seconds by a knockout presented to you, the boxer from the Panics Boxing Gymnasium under the tutelage of one of the finest boxing trainers Ghana has ever produced, presenting to you the man, George Fowmensa. Now, George, congratulations, George. Congratulations. Thanks. Do your thing. Final your job. Now I can only let Osao you are dentist. Show up on the train. Now can have a have a you know problem for you alone. Oh, important. He's a very good boxer. He has a problem through. She will only coach you and imbo and coach to it. He only mean nothing to it in in corner. He only coach a climb and only interfere. She is important. He's a very good boxer. He's a final quality world champion. If you are can only let me many your benefit support to miniba. Oh, because can't quite get I go to be a song. I go to be a center. I'm a fan. 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 i i i Agbogbolosha is one of the finest areas where marketing is always very, very huge. They're here in Accra.